Hey guys, welcome back to some more Modern Warfare 3. Today, we're going to be going over the best class setups to use in Season 4 Reloaded right now. Starting off with our first gun, we're going to be talking about the MTZ 556. This is definitely my favorite, like, overall AR in this game. It's very solid. It shoots very fast. It has a fast CDK. So we're going to start off, we're going to have the DR6 hand stop on here for aim for mobility and the Cassis break for some recoil control the clinch pro is like you could you could run the drifter heavy they're kind of interchangeable but i prefer the clinch pro because it doesn't chalk your mobility as much as it does with this one so run the clinch pro and you can't if you don't want to run an optic you can take off the optic and you can run the magazine or the rear grip so let's go over some variations so you can take off the uh, optic, you can run high grain rounds, so if you want more range, you can take off the high grain rounds, you can run the com the SL Razor Hawk Laser Light for more sprint to fire, or you could take that off and you could run the, I think it's the Rival Ace Grip, or you could run the Bruin TR24 Assault Grip for more recoil control, but I recommend just running an optic but they're very interchangeable. And for the last the last attachment, we're gonna be running the MTZ Marauder stock for some recoil control. And the next gun we're gonna be going over is the Rival 9. I think this is the best uh overall like just SMG in the game right now. So we're gonna be running the clear shot barrel for more recoil control and more bullet velo and more damage range. And then we'll be running the Semp Compensated Flash Hider for some more recoil control. The DR6 hand stop. By the way, don't run the frangible rounds. I'm just running this because it has tracers on it. Instead, just run the MTZ Marauder stock. But I'm running these because you just get, yeah, don't run those. Um, and then I have the 40 round mag, but you can take that off. You can run an optic, you can take that off. You can run a laser or a rear grip. So, yeah. And the next thing we're going to be going over is the MCW. So, I, last time I showed you guys a conversion kit MCW, but I didn't show you the, the actual, like, the, uh, the one without the conversion kit. So, today, we're going to go over that. So, we have the MCW Cyclone Long Barrel for damage range and bullet velo. The Sonic Suppressor for more damage range and some bullet velo. The DR6 handstop for more mobility because this doesn't very ha does has have a very fast sprint to fire. And the MK3 and the 40 round mag. If you don't want to run this, you can run the War Forged stock for M mobility and recoil control. Or you can run the Regal Heavy. It, they're kind of interchangeable. And if you want all mobility, run the uh, collapsed stockless mod. You can do that, but I don't recommend that. And instead of the 40 round mag, you can run the laser or the high grain rounds. And one of the last, and before we get into anything else, I want to go over my perks, what I run. So I have the compression carrier, which is basically just quick fix, but it takes away uh, tacticals and a field upgrade. But I, it does, I, you don't really need that, to be completely honest. I have scavenger gloves, and I have covert sneakers, and then I have mag holster for uh, faster reloads. And the next gun we're going to be over is the striker. So, this is kind of like a, a no recoil build, but you can run it differently. So, we have the re recon long barrel on here for damage range and bullet velo. We have the Zenf Compensated Flash Hider for recoil control, the DR6 hand stop for mobility, and the 48 round mag, but you, by the way, you can take this off. Sometimes I like to take off the 40 round mag and run the high grain rounds, because I'll just show you in the, it kills so much faster, and still has absolutely no recoil, but I rather run a 48 round mag. And last, we have the Sock and ZX Grip for more gun kit control and recoil control. And, oh, I didn't get to show you my secondary. I'm running this secondary on almost all of my weapons, which is the Renetti. 
I have the Zemp Compensated Flash Hider. The Skeletal Vertical Grip for more mobility and some recoil control. I have the 50 round drum mag. This kind of slows it down, so I would recommend running the 30, but I run this because I play a lot of uh, small map mosh pit. So that's what I usually just have on it. Oh yeah, and the Jack Ferocity Carbine Kit that turns the Renetti into the SMG. And the weird thing is, they nerfed this gun to Oblivion and Warzone, but they never really nerfed it that much in multiplayer. So it's pretty much as good as it was in, during the uh, the wars when this was the Warzone meta. But by the way, we have the EXF Eclipser Grip for more mobility. That's it. We're running. And um, as gun we're going over is the Uzi. This is the Uzi I really like. We have the short light barrel here for more mobility. The DR6 hand stop for some more mobility. The high green rounds for damage range. This thing is basically like an AR with how much damage range in bullet velo it has. So it's pretty crazy. Um, the 40 round mag. If you don't like the iron sights in this, which a lot of people don't, and I don't understand that. Because I think they're pretty clean. You can take this off, and I run the Slimline Pro because it kind of just gives me Modern Warfare 2019 type nostalgia. <laughs> but you don't have to run that, so run the 40 round mag most of the time. And lastly, you have the factory stock for more mobility. And thanks for tuning in, guys. And I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. And like and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.